Hey guys, welcome to Dynamic Science. In previous video, you have seen that we can define gravity by the distortion of space-time caused by mass. If you have not watched it yet, then you can check out the link given in description. So now, gravitational wave. If an object move around in space-time, then this accelerating object create ripple, which propagate in outer space with the speed of light and Albert Einstein called it gravitational wave. If this theory is true then we would be able to detect gravitational waves. Since gravitational force is the weakest force of the universe then the effect of gravitational wave will be very tiny and according to the measurement it is about one part in 10 to the power 20. If only one object move around in the space-time, then the amplitude of ripple would be very small. But if two massive objects orbit each other, then they would create more effective ripples in space-time. On 11 February 2016, scientists announced the detection of gravitational wave generated by the merging of two black holes 3 billion light years away from the earth. According to the scientists, one black hole had 30 times mass of the sun and another one had 20 times mass of the sun. They were orbiting each other from billions of light years and with orbiting they were coming towards each other with creating ripples in outer space. On midnight of 14 September 2015, they were merged into a bigger black hole. On that instant of time, they created strong ripples in the fabric of space-time like as a shock wave. And that ripples spreaded across the whole space with the speed of light. So when these gravitational waves pass through the earth, then there would be some change in the size of earth cause of the change in the distortion of space-time. So the earth would be squeezed from up and down and stretched from sideways. Since the effect of gravitational waves is very tiny, so we have to measure the change in the size of the order of 10 raised to power negative 18. For this measurement, we can use laser interferometer. In this interferometer, the laser beam is splitted up into two parts. On both sides, we put reflectors at the same distance. When light beams reflects back from both the ends, then reflected light beams construct an interference pattern. And if the distance of these reflectors changes, then the interference pattern would also be changed. Since we are doing very precise measurement, so we have to put these reflectors at very large distance. For this purpose, scientists use 4 km long two tunnels at Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, in short LIGO. This was the largest vacuum tunnel ever made in this world. And for this, they used a strong laser light source. So when there is no change in the curvature of space-time of the Earth, then we would get the well-defined interference pattern. But when these waves pass straight through the earth, then we would observe some change in that interference pattern. So on 14 September 2016, scientists observed some change in that interference pattern and they called it gravitational wave. So we can define gravitational wave from this theory. So if you really like this video, then don't forget to share it with your friends.